So Wemby is like the most discussed prospects I've like ever seen. Like this is after two exhibition games. So of course, you know, I, 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 I gotta make a video, but we're not gonna do like the wow, wow, this video where we're showing all this crazy uh, made shots and stuff. Cause you've, you've seen all those enough. So I'm gonna try to look at this with a little, a wee bit more nuance um, and kind of go into what he did well, what he didn't do well. Um, but focus on, you know, the potential development pathways and the progress. Because that's really the point of making all these Wemby videos is besides just like that I like watching him is tracking guys' progress is really, really important. So one of the good things that Wemby keeps doing and he was doing in this game is embracing contact and his size. Just kidding. This is totally wrong. Okay, ignore that. I'm too lazy to um, re-record this. We're going to talk about his passing first, which I found honestly like quite impressive. Um, Wemby's like not a super high fill guy, but it seems to be improving because he's like empowered to do stuff. I talked about how Wemby's going to be so versatile and that he's getting real primary like reps this year. Um, and these kind of split actions, seeing him being able to find a cut. Um, this is like a little bit late as a lot of Wemby's passes are unfortunately like the ball needs to be out here. Like w Wemby throws to players, not necessarily to open space like great passers do. Like, the pass needs to be out now. Um, but because he waits a second, um, X can rotate over and get that steal. But I really do like him, like, attempting that kind of that kind of stuff. And in these, in these kind of actions, like these simple defensive coverages and recoveries, he can find, like, open defenders within flow of the offense stuff, which is very, very cool. And this play was, was fucking awesome. Like, um, like, having Wemby try running an elbow get, like, snug pick and roll. Um, obviously this is like a bad read. Um, he just kind of ignores this help, but like, this is super cool to see him like getting the chance to run these kind of plays, which has me optimistic for that passing development. Obviously it's like not perfect. Um, he's again late here and throws like a weird no look. He really loves these like whip no look passes, which is probably something that can be ironed out fairly easily, but it causes a lot of errant passes at this moment. I'm not really sure what he was trying here. And, like, even when stuff is good, it's slow, which is, like, fine. And I'm, it is nitpicky for, like, a 7, 6, 18-year-old. Um, but he, like, gets bothered by the help here as well. Um, and in the NBA, this, pro this is probably a help defender who can actually track back. Um, but Wemby does do a nice job using his height to pass over the defense and finding his man down low. Um, for, you know, for his age, size, skill, like, all of this is impressive development for me. I'm a big fan. And I'm excited to keep seeing how it progresses because Wemby's feel is not like a be all end all. Um, it's certainly like one of his like lower points, but that's probably saying something um, offensively. Um, and I think it can be like very functional, functional in that off ball kind of role maybe. I didn't do like much of the like like I, like I'm not going to show any other like jumpers really, but like come on man, <laughs> if you have your like seven six big running off a trail in early offense, like what do you do? Like, seriously, what do you do? Like, do you press? Like, that legitimately might be the only way to beat this. Like, you might literally have to press. Um, just because, like, most guys either, you know, a lot of bigs will sit back at these kind of semi-trans opportunities to protect the rim and account for any mistakes and stuff and because they can. But against Wemby, you can't. You have to be out there and on him. Um, so, yeah, like, 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 I think, like, defenses, like, legit might have to press this action. Like... Like, if the shot is actually as good as it has been, which, again, like, he picked a good two games to have the best two shooting games of his life. Like, um, I, I still, like, you know, have, you know, I'm still waiting to see the shot go in more. But, like, assuming it does go in enough, which I think is there's a good chance it does, like, how do you stop that? What do you do? Like, I, I don't, I really, really don't know what you do. And the fact that he's going to be, like, a crazy lob target. This is, like, Anthony Davis levels of reach without anywhere near Anthony Davis levels of bounce just because of his sheer size. And I've really enjoyed Victor's willingness to play through contact. This has been something that's been steadily improving as he gets stronger as like, he's getting to the point where like you can't put small guys on him. And like small guys is like, <laughs> is a funny term. Cause this is like, cause, cause FA is like 6'10 and like a, like it was like a, it was like a good NCAA center. And, like, he's, like, too small for, for Wemby. He like, like, Wemby's, like, you are a little man, um, which I really appreciate him, like, being aware of his size and using some of that strength functionally. 
And like on some of these, you know, he's extending his combo strings. Like I did in the last video, I, I talked about how, you know, there's kind of like simple one combos into jumpers or something, but I love this spin back counter again, using his strength and look how low he gets as well to kind of leverage off this defender before hitting a nice little touch shot off the glass. It's really, really cool stuff to see. Again, like just going through his chest. I like shrieked when I saw the bump hero, like one of my favorite moves in basketball. Um, and the fact that, you know, Wembenyama, who is like so tall and, and skinny looking, is willing and able to get into a thick defender's, a, a strong defender. FA is strong. Get into a strong defender's chest and bump Euro him off for an open layup. Like, that is sick. That is so, so sick. And just like watching him dribble in transition is, it, it is mesmerizing. Like, like, it is like nothing else. Truly, like, one of the more staggering things I've probably seen in my entire life. Like, un unreal. Like, the offense these two games was just ridiculous. <laughs> like, obviously with the shots going in, but even, like, the creation, the passing, the aggression, the rebounding was good. Like, his offense was unbelievable. And I think his offense is probably, like, a, a little underrated while his defense is a little overrated, which we'll get to. Definitely, like, more nuance probably to go over on the defensive side because I think there's also like less understanding of what he does on defense just because he's so giant and you know can get by that way um case in point he doesn't really need to to do much to get blocks like this where you know he's not moving super fast he doesn't turn his hips he doesn't get vertical doesn't matter uh, he, he doesn't jump very high like that enormous like a billion foot standing reach that's all he needs and Wemby's like um like vertical like leaping is kind of is like a little bit of an issue to me because he gets off the ground just really slow and i think in more mobile kind of like off ball situations that is an issue which we'll get into but when he's like 1v1 versus a guy it does not matter that he like loads up a little bit um when he can literally primary block a little jump hook because look where his arm gets like it's at the top of the square <laughs> like, what the hell <laughs> like come on how, what, like, what do you do um, I mean, you put a bigger guy on him, that's what you do. But again, Wemby um, can cover so much ground with that length. Um, this is a block. If you like have this screenshot, freeze this in time, and switch Wemby with like 99% of the bigs in the NBA today, this is, a, this is a layup. Like, he doesn't even move really. He just kind of like swipes his arm over and stabs that ball from Scoot. It is really, really remarkable um but i think this possession is a good kind of example of a lot of of like some of Wemby's primary and like evident weaknesses uh he's like very gamble happy he loves to reach loves to go for these kind of steals and like i get it because like he has those crazy long arms and he's probably like i can get everything and he does get a lot of them or i don't know about a lot of them but first he gambles then like his recovery and change of direction is not that great like just because of how wide his basis is about huge he is his hips turn slow he is not really quick to slide. He turns and chases, and that's you know, that can be a problem because a problem in big spaces because his hips take a second to get around. And you see again, he is too late off the ground to get to this. I think there were like five or six goaltends in over the cross games, maybe more. Like he goaltended so many times, and like I'm afraid that will happen just because like so many of his blocks are gonna be like high points that even if a lot of them are blocked, I can imagine some get goaltending, but. Like, you see, like, how he bends his knees and has to swing his arms here to really get elevation. Um, but by that time, the ball's on its way down. Like, you know, incredible leapers like Mobley or Joel Embiid or, you know, something like that would be off the ground here. So that's, um, like, some of the you know, athletic concerns. Again, we see, like, another example of one, like a bad gamble, bad footwork, slow hips um, on that closeout. Um, and that's all stuff that is going to improve. Um, excuse me while I plug in my computer. All right. So that is all stuff that I think um, we can see. Because, like, the, the pick and roll positioning um, is not the best either. Which I honestly think will kind of mitigate some of the mobility stuff. Because, like, with proper positioning, Wemby can do so much. Like, he's just needlessly high and to the right here um, and isn't quick enough to recover and, you know, get a hand on this and stop a straight-line drive. I think he ended up fouling there. 
And again, Wemby playing this kind of middle role versus like a DHO swing offense, a DHO cut offense is just a little too high and slow reacting to the scoot. His reaction time certainly is a little slow. Um, I mentioned that in my last Wemby video as well. Um, that he's just not the quickest like reacting at this point, um, but can cover ground with the length is you know obviously and get kind of close. But the reaction speed just isn't that great. Um, but there are flashes of it um, where you see Wemby like you know notice you know this this guy puts head down um, and hawks over for that block, uh, which is is good recognition and, and progress. I say, absolutely progress. Um, Wemby like. Again, like there's no reason to be like swiping here. Um, you stick your hand up and you can test that shot. Instead, Scoot gets a wide open pull up, which he, you know, ends up missing. But like, point being, like this is not necessary for Wemby. He literally, um, like he doesn't, like Wemby's Wemby's like mo is to attack the ball handler, which gets him punished so much. Um, and what Wemby should be doing is sliding backwards, sliding this way because he doesn't have to get as high as other defenders to really contest shots and floaters. Like, he really doesn't. So I think these are, like, definitely fixes that are possible and that I could see an NBA team levying out for Wemby at some point in the future. But as I mentioned, like, he does get, like, a lot of these uh, little, like, cookies just because his arms are so freakishly long, and I'm sure defenders are just really not ready for, for that kind of length. So they don't expect uh, reach, and they end up getting ripped. But yeah, like that's what I saw from Wemby's first um, two games. They were phenomenal, just so much fun to watch. Um, I think there's like a lot of fun stuff to monitor um, on defense as well. Um, it's like the those are the main things for me. Just you know, keeping keep watching the defensive progression, and like let's hope the shooting keeps up because like. God, this was so wild. It was just so freaking wild.